Hey guys, we've already talked about 101 things to do with a box, which is the beginning stages of this game where you really want to pay your dog for interacting with this box at all. So now I want to kind of make it a little bit more developed and I want to steer my dog in a direction of what behaviors I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to try to have Jojo touch the box with her mouth or pick it up with her mouth. It's going to be hard if she's in the box to pick it up, but we'll see what we get, okay? Jo? So what I'm going to be looking for is first initial in interaction with the box at all. Um, then I'm going to be looking for any head movement down. So if she gives me any of that, I'm going to click and I'm going to feed her for it. Um, what can help me here is probably paying her to lower her head and then feeding her lower. Um, that might help us get a lowered motion. Um, I've done a lot of stuff with her in the past where she turns her head. Um, so she gives me a lot of that when we do this kind of exercise and that's not a big deal to me. So there we go, I got a little head movement down. Again, I'm gonna ignore all the other behaviors she gives me. I'm just looking for that head lowered toward the box. I want to be feeding her at a high enough rate that she doesn't get bored with this. If your dog does get bored with it, that's okay. Um, you can do shorter sessions um, or make the game a little easier for them by, um, by picking an easier behavior to do. It's just a lot of fun once your dog figures out that you're looking for something very specific. Okay, you pick some interaction to do with this box and go to town. You can send a video if you want, if you have questions. And you can also do this with other objects. It doesn't have to just be a box. It can be a laundry basket. It can be kind of everything. Thanks, guys.